applying grace here as an empire. Well, um, it's going to have to do with reducing our military footprint in the world, uh, deciding that we don't have to be a superpower, that our biggest job is to take care of our people. So really, since soon, it's going to mean us redefining what progress is. That progress is not necessarily uh, more and more technological advances that create profit, mm -hmm. but short, short term and the few. Mm -hmm. But redefining progress to be the health of our people, you mm -hmm. know, the health of our communities, um, the education of our young people, and on and on. I believe that we Americans intrinsically have these values, but they have been misplaced. Uh, we've been misguided by uh, a sort of a wrong-headed attention to corporate life and corporate-driven mm -hmm. profits. So how to do it? I think we're doing the best we can, which is trying to drive government and policy as much as possible. But, but honestly, that's going to that's gonna mess you up. But honestly, I think, I think that we're going to have, we may not be able to guide the U.S. where we need to go, but there will be enough of us who are setting up alternative systems so that when the bigger systems, you know, these larger ideas of progress and empire, when those absolutely fail, as we know they will, that we will have alternative systems in place. And, you know, that may be the only thing, that may be the only thing we can do right now. Yes, press government, yes, organize ourselves, rally, but maybe most importantly set up alternative systems. Could you give us an example of some alternative systems that maybe you have been involved with? Yes, and, and I think the most exciting alternative system is the agricultural one. Mm -hmm. I, at the bed and breakfast where I'm staying, there is a book called The Town That Food St Saved, which is about hardwood, Vermont, and its, its increase in um, food, local food related agriculture. And so everywhere I go now, I meet students like you on campus who, on campuses, and they are so, they see so much about life, about our world is out of control, that they can control in some degree this very primal need of ours, which is food. And so they lobby their cafeterias to go trailless and to start buying more local and they start farmers markets and they do campus kitchens which feeds mm -hmm. the hungry literally and they uh, s you know support farms and work on farms and I think that's it's, it's got to be the most exciting thing going on that we are in the middle of a food revolution like we are no longer accepting that we, we no longer want corporations to feed us. We don't accept that industry is actually going to keep us healthy.